Okay, this is going to be a real-time demonstration of me cracking a 6741, and I'll explain some of my techniques as I go through. I currently do not know the combination to this, so my first step is, if I'm going for speed, is I'm going to start by isolating the third wheel. So I'll set the first two wheels inside the contact area here at zero, pick up that third wheel in isolation, uh, and then I'll start running it through. And I go every two and a half numbers because this is, I know this to be a 6741, so it has the tolerances for that. Okay, that's a pretty clear indication. Um, there's a quarter number gap uh, drop in the contact, right contact point, so I can assume that here 45 is the third number in the combination. So now I'm going to isolate the second wheel. So right rotation to zero uh, with left rotation. All right. Set the first wheel at zero. Pick up that second wheel with right rotation. I'm going to just start at 92 and a half here to avoid the contact point. And then set the third wheel at 45. Okay, so 82 and a half is insanely clear. That is a little more than a quarter of an increment drop, at least from my point of view. So the combination so far, uh, second number is 82 and a half, third number is 45. So I'll just brute force the final number. And I like to start from the second number, so 82 and a half, and I like to go to the right from there. So 82 and a half, I start 10 up because generally you don't want to have two numbers within 10 numbers of each other, uh, consecutive numbers in a combination. So I'll start at 92 and a half. I can definitely open. Uh, 92 and a half, so 95. Yeah, that's close enough. Uh, I overshot a bit, but I don't want to redo it all. I think it's safe to say it's not not 97 and a half. I actually forgot where I was last at. Alright, I'll just start at zero. I can redo that area if I don't find it in this. 
this uh, this run. Dude, I keep losing track. It's seven and a half now. This last number is always the most tedious part. And I like to wiggle a little bit as well. You can see me doing this just in case I was a little off on one of the numbers. It'll uh, help it drop in if I'm just simply close. That's it. Okay. 20, 82 and a half and 45 is the combination I used to open it with. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all there is to it. Sometimes you won't get so lucky. I just know the third wheel usually beats first, which is why I ran the first two wheels in isolation. I mean, the first two, I parked the first two wheels at zero to run the third wheel with left rotation is isolation uh it's a little risky but it saves time uh on most of your openings your average time will go down um it just gets really boring with the last wheel and if you don't find a signature on that third wheel you can isolate the second wheel and do it that way and, and then work towards isolating the first wheel if nothing appears on the second wheel um uh, it just takes a little more time than if, if the third wheel doesn't read first, then if you were to just use all wheels left and try and find any of the wheels and then determine using a high load test or wheel isolation to determine which wheel it belongs to. Uh, but that's just kind of my thought process as I try and crack a safe here. Um, yeah, leave any comments below if you have questions. I'll try to answer them as quickly and best of my ability as possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed.